What's up guys? So I'm actually really looking forward to the Incredibles 2 movie which opens this weekend and I happen to find these two figures. It's Mr. Incredible and Elastigirl and Elastigirl's in her new suit and they have a cool metallic color unlike the regular version so I'm like uh yes? Now it's been 14 years since the original movie. The new movie looks cool, these figures look cool, so let's go and get this review started. Now the box front has an open window as well as some awesome pictures of Mr. and Mrs. Incredible. Here's one side and the other side. There's the top. Here's the back with the sweet glam shot and the other figure figures who aren't metallic colored. And there's the bottom with the UPC. Oh my god. And there they are guys, Mr. Incredible and Elastigirl in her new suit and in shiny paint. And they're actually really tiny too. Starting with Mr. Incredible, he has a pretty decent head sculpt going on there. He's got some nice hair, he's got some nice waves and everything as you can see there. And he's got some nice paint overall. There's a little bit of bleeding on the bottom edge there, but not too bad. The eyes are actually pretty spot on and they look pretty clean. Got a nice big chin, got this little cowlick mohawk, but the body is where it's at. Not only do you get a pretty nice sculpt, although simple, it does show muscle definition, but it's that red color that's just awesome. I love that metallic red. It's just molded right in. It's not paint either. And I like the logo here too. It's clean and crisp and it's got some nice colors. And the back is a whole bunch more of that awesome metallic paint, as well as this Lego mumbo jumbo here. And the arms continue that muscular sculpt here with his pretty dare I say, incredible muscles. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no. Now the color on the arm is slightly lighter than the body. It's kind of hard to see on camera. Maybe it's because there's less plastic here compared to the body, I don't know, maybe. Yeah. And then you got his little gloves and his tiny little hand that just look like they're supposed to hold something, but he comes with nothing. I think fists would have been better. And the legs continue that nice metallic red and it has kind of a bulbous look. I wouldn't, I wouldn't say it's really muscular, it's bulbous, but it's cartoony and it looks pretty good. The black boots are nice. Now the black bleeds a little bit on the edge of his underwear there, although, you know, it's like who really wears underwear anymore? I mean, and at least they don't have capes. And there's the bottom of his itty bitty feet. And in the movie, Mr. Incredible is invincible. So theoretically, this figure should be too. Okay. Oh, uh, I'm okay. And as for articulation, his head rotates a full 360 degrees, but no side-to-side -side or up-and-down movement. And his arm rotates a full 360 degrees, as well as having a shoulder joint that goes eh, decently up. Although something to keep in mind, though, is that this side particular shapes. Like, you can see when it goes up against it, you can kind of see the shape marks there. It's not so much on this arm, so... That's kind of a bad clearance issue there, so just be careful for that. And his forearm rotates slightly 90 degrees up, but that's about it. There's no other movement. And his legs rotate all the way forward and slightly bit back, not too much, giving him a slight splits there. And that's it for Mr. Incredible. Now for Elastigirl. She has a decent head sculpt overall. Got some nice hair going on in the back there, as you can see. And it's... You know, it looks like the cartoon, but her eyes seem kind of wonky looking to me. I don't know, what, what do you guys think? And her hair overall looks pretty nice with the waves and everything sculpted in, but there's these weird like slashy cut marks as you can see. I don't know what those are. It's like, it's like she took a beating already and she just got out of the box. And there's a pretty big mold flare here too where it was connected to the mold. So that's, that's kind of not clean looking, but I do really like this metallic silver paint that they used on her body. It's so nice and shiny, continues all the way around her body. Body, as you can see and it just honestly it, it really makes the figure there and the elastigo logo on her chest is surprisingly sharp and crisp looking considering how tiny it is now her arms are tiny and honestly they just look like little sticks but it does match the movie and it has a little bit of silver up there too which is nice and the rest is just black and she has teeny weeny little open fist hands just like mr. incredible and her legs here are mostly black except for this little gun metal here and they're very slimly sculpted as well, just like the movie. And there's a little uh, Lego mumbo jumbo in a very strange spot there. And just some, you know, regular curvature. They're, they really look like sticks. And there's the bottom of her feet sticks there. And her head also rotates 360 degrees. And it's not supposed to have side to side, but it's just so bendy and flexible. I mean, I guess she really is elastic girl. <laughs> That's too many bad jokes in one video. And her arm rotates 360 degrees and that's pretty much it, although it's, like I said, soft, so you can kind of do that. And her leg rotates forward, but not very far back at all because of her badonkadonk. And something to take note here is her legs are actually not level. It's actually, you can see the right leg is longer than the left, so if you try to stand her, she starts leaning and then she, oh, now she doesn't fall over. And she falls over just like that because of her uneven legs. Whoa, the focus. And in the movie, she has stretchy powers, just like a rubber band. 
I'm good. I'm good, guys. I'm, I'm, I'm good. And now for some comparisons. Here he is next to the Hero Vision Captain America, the Disney Toy Box Black Panther, and the Marvel Legends Serpent Society. I don't know why, I just really like his purple and green. Whoa, 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 what was that? Proxima Midnight has entered the arena. Wow, that was unexpected. Where does that thing keep coming from? Yeah, Mark Ruffalo! Uh -huh. Well guys, overall the metallic paint color is pretty nice, but I'm sure the movie will be absolutely great. But anyways guys, I still have some more Infinity War toys coming, so don't worry about that. But I am curious, what other toys would you guys want to see me review? Let it be know in the comments below. <laughs> that kind of rhymed. And as always, thanks for watching, for dropping by, for liking, subscribing, commenting, and honestly, overall, for just being like the best subscriber base, like, ever. Anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.